Hello Berkeleyans! In this lesson, you will know and understand your responsibility as an individual. You will learn how to take care of yourself and take the first steps to develop your personality through good personal hygiene, proper grooming, practices, and correct body postures. Here are the lesson objectives. First, understand the importance of good hygiene and good grooming in everyday life. Second, connect the importance of good hygiene and good health. Lastly, develop personal hygiene and good grooming habits. Let's get started. Personal hygiene refers to cleanliness habits or practices of taking care of the body and health. It is generally the foundation of one's personality. It is reflected not only on how you project yourself, but also first and foremost on how you present yourself the best way you can. The best way to present yourself is to appear clean, neat, and tidy, which can be achieved following good grooming practices. Why is hygiene and good grooming important? Here are a few reasons why. 1. It makes you look and feel good. 2. It boosts your self-confidence. 3. It helps you relate with others. And lastly, it shows that you respect yourself so others will respect you. Being well-groomed makes you pleasing and attractive to look at. Being well-groomed makes you feel proud of yourself knowing that others admire your appearance, posture, and ways. Good grooming starts with personal cleanliness and good health habits. It can be attained by doing the following. 1. Taking a bath. 2. Caring for the teeth and gums. 3. Caring for the hair. 4. Eating the right kind of food. 5. Getting sufficient rest and sleep. 6. Doing daily exercise. 7. Wearing appropriate and clean clothing. And 8. Proper posture. So we will be discussing them one by one. First is proper basing. Basing removes the dirt, dust, grease, and perspiration and unpleasant smell of the body. It keeps the skin clean, clear, and smooth and leaves a clean, fresh smell all over. Here are the basic steps for proper bathing. First, wet your body with clean water. Second, apply and lather the bath soap or body wash to your whole body. Third, you may use a small towel to scrub face, neck, arms, legs, and other body parts. Next, rinse your body thoroughly with water. After rinsing, dry yourself with a clean bath towel. You may also apply body powder or lotion for a fr fresh and pleasant smell. Lastly, put on clean underwear and clothes. There are many different products sold that can be used in taking a bath. However, care should be used in choosing the products that should be used. Only those recommended by professionals to be used at a particular age should be purchased. Otherwise, Soap and water are enough to make the body clean. Next is dental care. When taking pictures, the common command is 1, 2, 3, say cheese, then everyone smiles. Yes, you would be more ready to smile with confidence if you have a healthy and clean set of teeth. You should keep your teeth clean, healthy, and strong that also includes your gums. So here are the steps in taking care of the teeth and gums. Brush your teeth after each meal. When brushing, pay attention to the inside and outside surfaces of the front, back, upper, and lower teeth. Follow the correct way of tooth brushing. Brush also the tongue. Next, use a soft toothbrush with soft bristles and a good toothpaste that contains fluoride. 
to protect the teeth from cavities. Next, rinse your mouth thoroughly with clean water. Rinsing washes away small particles of food left in the mouth. Gargle with mouthwash after brushing if desired. A good mouthwash kills germs and prevents bad breath. Also, you have to use a dental floss. A dental floss is a nylon filament or a plastic ribbon that removes bits of food stuck in between your teeth that tooth brushing cannot reach. Next, you have to eat the right food. Include in your diet food groups rich in vitamin C and calcium. And refrain from eating too much sweet and starchy foods since they contribute to tooth decay. Most importantly, have a regular dental checkup. The dentist can guide you on how to take good care of your teeth to prevent dental caries and tooth cavities. Visit your dentist at least twice a year. Next one is all about hair care. Your hair is your crowning glory. It can make your face look attractive and pretty when properly cut and arranged. To have a healthy, shiny, and good-looking hair, follow this. First, washing your hair properly with the right shampoo for your hair type. There are different types of shampoo for normal, dry, oily, and permed hair. There are those that prevent dandruff, those that help make hair silkier and smooth, and the others. Shampoo your hair as often as needed. Drying your hair through a towel. The use of hair dryer is not advised because it may destroy your hair strand. That's why you do the towel process. Next is we have to brush our hair regularly. Make sure your brush or comb is clean and not too stiff. Brush starting from the top of the head down to the tip of the hair. Brushing is good because it releases the natural oil of the hair and distributes it evenly on the strands. Aside from this, brushing also helps stimulate blood circulation, thus making the scalp healthy. Next one, we have to know the right kind of food. Eating the right kind of food promotes good health and builds strong bodies. It makes children grow faster and more active. It is good to know what foods are good for you and those which are not. Here are some reminders that we need to remember. First, it is not only eating the right food but also eating the right amount. A person should have a balanced diet that will supply the body with the energy it needs to function properly. Second, the body also needs the right amount of nutrition to support growth and development. A well-balanced diet contains nutrient-rich food from the food pyramid. Next, getting sufficient sleep and rest. Our body needs rest and sleep. This is the time for the body to repair worn out tissues and to recover lost energy. While the right kind and amount of food is important to health, rest, and sleep, they are all equally important. The body cannot work continuously for 24 hours a day. A person who lacks sleep or rest is often irritable. He or she loses some of his or her physical attraction. Sometimes he or she may feel weak and dizzy. A child like you need at least 8 hours of sleep a day to keep you strong and healthy. Next one is doing daily exercise. If the body is not used, it will surely be lost. The muscles will become flabby and weak. The heart and lungs won't function efficiently. The joints will be stiff and easily injured. 
being inactive is as dangerous as smoking. The body is meant to move. Regular exercise is necessary for physical fitness and good health. Follow the physical activity pyramid that you learned in physical education. These activities will surely help you get moving. Exercising is necessary for proper elimination of waste and also helps stimulate the circulation of blood. That's how important for us to really do our physical activities and our daily exercise. Lastly, wearing appropriate and clean clothing. One should change his or her clothes and undergarments before sleeping. Sleeping with clothes where one has perspired and dirt might have adhered to them will not make him or her comfortable. So all of these are all important for us to develop our personal hygiene and good grooming. I hope that you learned something from this lesson. Thank you and please check the quiz I have prepared for you in your Blink account. Have a nice day!